the author tag. I was tagged by Ben Sanders to do this, and I'm really excited to do this tag to kind of talk about more about my book that I'm doing. So let's just get started. So the first question is the working title of your book. And I don't currently have a title. I feel like I'm going to just do, like I'm gonna write my whole book and then I'll kind of go back and pick the title that is going to fit the best. My story is very much not outlined the way it should be and I'm really more pantsy in this story, which I don't prefer to do, but it's just the way that it's working out with this story. And so I kind of don't know where it's gonna end up. So I feel like if I just wait, the story title will come to me eventually. The next question is, where did the idea come from for your book? So I actually, had the idea to write a book and I wanted to do something that was along the lines of something in mythology or Greek history or just like an, a fictional creature. So I got on line and I started searching like characters that are in Greek mythology and one of them is the nymph. So my story is actually about nymphs and centaurs, and it also has um, some of the Greek god, god uh, some of the Greek gods in it as well. Um, I have like Eros, the Greek god of love, and um, a few others. So yeah, that's how I got my story idea. I googled some character or some creatures that I thought would be cool, some Greek mythology, and I just kind of went from there with it. The next question is, which actors would you choose to play in your movie rendition? To play in your movie rendition. Yeah, that's what it says. Okay. So, um, hmm. I don't know. You know, I really have no idea who I would pick. I spent a lot of time looking through lists of actresses and actors and just couldn't find any that really fit my characters. So, maybe I would choose people like new actors that don't that aren't real big in the world of acting right now oh my gosh okay so. ah. oh, sorry okay so yeah I'd probably just pick some new actors that aren't really out there yet that just fit my role perfectly okay so the next question is what is the one sentence synopsis of your book no. Um, I guess like a girl who's trying to, a nymph girl who's trying to find herself and in the process falls in love and then has to save her whole, her whole village and a human village and still in all the mix of the craziness she has to find herself and she also discovers her family that has been missing for a long time so that is very rough and awful but that is just the gist of it it was not thought out at all so please excuse my one sentence synopsis those are really hard to come up with so there's so many words and so much going on in the book that to condense it down into one sentence is very hard okay so the next question is, will your book be self-published or represented by an agency? Um, I feel like I will probably try to get published by um, a bigger publishing agency because I feel like there's not as much work involved. I know that sounds horrible, but I, I feel like self-publishing is a lot of work and with the time that I have right now, with three kids and a really busy life. I just don't think that self-publishing will be the way to go for me. But if I tried to get published and just couldn't get published, then I may try going the self-publishing way of doing it because I do want my book and my hard work to get out there in the hands of other people, so. So the next question is, how long did it take you to write the first draft of your manuscript? I'm still currently writing the first draft of my manuscript and I started it in May of last year, but I really just did like the first outline in a chapter and then I kind of just stopped and I didn't write for a couple months and then NaNoWriMo came around and I was like, well, I'm going to just give it all I can and 
write this book. So I did and I ended up writing about 25,000 words during, during NaNo. I didn't do the full 50 and I felt really accomplished by doing so. And then after that, I kind of got into a writing slump because I pushed myself so hard during November and I've just gotten back into writing it. So it's nowhere near finished, not even the first draft of my manuscript, but it'll get done when it gets done and I'm not gonna rush it. And I don't know, like I think I've talked about this before, but I don't know if I'll end up doing nano again just because it was so stressful and it did put me into a writing slump because I just, it was just made me not want to write because I just pushed myself so hard. The next question is, what other books would you compare to this story to? Probably one that I really find similar to mine would be, and I got a lot of inspiration from, would probably be the Frostfire series by Amanda Hawking. It's one of my favorite series and it is about um, trolls. So I really loved that series, like I said, and I definitely think that it's kind of similar. There's a lot of different aspects in the stories, but it's kind of similar to that. The next question is, who or what inspired you to write the book? You know, I just have always really loved, like, I've always just really loved reading. And one day I was like, just thinking about what I want to do with my life. And this is after I've changed my mind on what I want to do millions of times. I've wanted to be a midwife. I've wanted to be a hairstylist. I've wanted to be a nurse. And I've changed my mind so much. And one day I was like, I really just want to do something that I love and I really love reading. So how can I turn that into a career that I'm going to enjoy doing? And so I was like, I could write, I could write books. And I've had this idea many times before, but I just thought it's not a plausible dream. It's never going to happen for me. And then I was thinking to myself, you know, if I keep thinking that way, it isn't going to be a plausible dream for me. So I just have to do it. I just have to do it and then it can be my dream and I can achieve it. So I got online and I started researching how to become a writer and I found Jenna Marcelli's channel and she really is a big inspiration for me as far as writing. I feel like she's funny and she gives really great advice on writing. And I've also just started buying like a ton of books and my husband has been a really big supporter in my dream. To become a writer even when I'm having moments of writer's block and I haven't written in a couple days or even a couple weeks he's like you know babe it's okay just keep pushing even if it takes you a couple years you can do this and it's gonna be great so I've had a lot of inspiration to keep going on writing my book and to start writing my book and I'm really lucky in that aspect that I have a lot of support and also that there's a lot of really cool people and a lot of good advice on authorship as well the last question, I believe this, yep, this is the last question. Okay, what else about your book might pique the reader's interest? Um, my story is, does have a little bit of a love interest in it, but it's only told over the course of a week, so it's not like a full-fledged, like, focus on the relationship part of it. It is about a young girl finding herself, but in the midst of, like, all this craziness going around and her having to step up and be the leader of her people to get to save them and save a human village that the guy that she likes is from so it is I it is something that I personally would want to read and I hope that is something that other people my age or younger would want to read as well or older you know people who read the same stuff as I read would like to read and um, you know, it's just a fun fantasy book, I guess. Anyway, so that is the author's tag. I will leave who I tag in the description below along with the link to the questions because I believe it's on a blog. It's on a blog, yeah. And I will also put Ben Sanders' page in the description below so you can check him out as well. He's great. He's one of my favorite author tubers. So definitely check him out if you haven't and follow him if you like his stuff. And that is it for today. I did want to mention that I'm holding a candle giveaway on my, my candle Instagram page. But it only has two days left. So if you're interested in that, check it out. And 
yeah so if you like this video please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye